Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back in today's video I am on the beta client of Azerite RSPS. Now Azerite hasn't officially released yet It will be the most exciting release of 2024 and it will be releasing on April the 20th at 2 p.m EST time zone So definitely make sure you are in the discord so you can join as one of the first players on the server Now before we get into some more information about the server, let me just show this really awesome trailer So Azerite has completely been redone 100% from scratch using a completely new base which is loading old school RS features. Now that means that every single model, every single interface, every single item and line of code all had to be redone from the ground up which is absolutely insane but they put in a lot of work and then this amazing piece of content has come out. Now as you can see right now I am at the Raids Hub. In the middle you'll find this fountain with Azerite floating around it which I think is absolutely amazing. You have to find caves right here but also the raids portal so let's go ahead and join this as you can see there are three types of raids you got the, the bobby d's ship you got smash bros raid and attack on titan all of these are custom raids if we just go ahead and start in one of those as you can see we will have to fight mewtwo now um i have really op gear so it shouldn't be too difficult if you go and head and complete the waves you will move on to the next one and so on and um, at the end of course you will have to fight bowser uh, so let's go ahead and go to there and hopefully uh, manage to get that kill as well completing a bunch of achievements as well here while getting through this raid and um, I think it's the f uh, after this is the final wave Giga Bowser as you can see it is now of course I will go ahead and one shot him once again or almost let's just run around a little bit so we can see the different attacks because as you can see you've got these falling balls that you'll have to watch out for of course there are still a lot of other um, attacks that he will be doing that you will have to take care of I'm just gonna kill him real quick so we can finish the raid upgrade tickets and some coins now if we go back to the home area let's explore this a little bit because as you can see the home area is completely custom and the HD graphics make this look absolutely amazing. If we go a bit to the south you will actually find this room right here. In here you will have a workbench, you will have a talisman bench and you will also have this recycler. If you check out the talisman bench you will be able to create some talismans which will of course have a specific benefit. You can put talismans in here and um, you can add up to four talismans to upgrade them this will also have to be done in the tutorial so you'll learn about the talismans straight away when you join the server now besides that you also have this workbench of course here you can go ahead and upgrade some items to multiple tiers and of course you'll see the required materials and the chance of upgrade right there as well and as you can see there is still a lot of locked reels right here so i believe they will be adding more tiers as the server grows so that's very awesome to see already and then you have the recycler here as well so you'll be able to recycle items in the server for some um, or sacrifice them right here and then you'll be able to check the rewards and you'll be able to spend your Azerite points here on perks and items so you have the uh, Reagan for example which can hold 50,000 shards and runes at once you have the items right here as well so you got the ring of death rage card and so on a bunch of really cool items of course joining a new server sometimes may be a bit confusing especially if it's a custom server but Azerite has a really nice information information tab right here so first of all you have all the general information about the server but you also have the game tools and in here you'll find some guides which are really nice you'll have a bunch of links here for different types of guides that you'll be able to check for example let's go to the gear they'll give you a basic explanation of everything so you can get some knowledge about the game of course you'll also find the teleport menu with all the bosses global bosses dungeons mini games and so on um, you also have the drop viewer that you can check out not gonna go over that stats 
fewer of course for when you are trying to upgrade your armor set so you know what you can go for and which items are the best this is also what i use to select my armor set which is the guardian armor set and that is rank one as you can see right there now of course besides that you have a bunch of achievements that you will be able to complete i was already completing some while doing that first raid as you could see while i was doing it um you get some nice rewards from those as well i believe experience so once you get over a total amount of experience you will get yourself a rank up now besides that of course collection log as always you will be able to complete the collection log if you grind out all the bosses but it's also a nice way to see what the possible drops are from all the different bosses from all the different raids for example if i would do the smash raid i can get myself the bowser armor set with the bowser egg right there the dragon ball z raid would give me the full saiyan armor set and then of course the barrows raid has actually a lot of drops different sets that we would be able to obtain now of course you have the lottery right there as well battle pass which is also really interesting of course as always there is a free and premium version that you would be able to get but there are a lot of levels so you can upgrade this a bunch of times and probably the rewards will be scaled uh, once the server actually goes live and then of course slayer as well now slayer is always a really interesting one because especially as a new player on the server it's a good way to start out your account let's actually start with extreme let's get a new task um wait that's 700 to 1000 let's start with the easy then and uh, get an easy task in the robot cave let's go ahead and teleport to there so different caves have different npcs and uh, as you can see right here we got the rage bot that we have to do 37 times for the slayer task and in the middle you also have a boss as you can see right there this one is the mech 5000 i don't know what the requirements are to pass the barrier to actually go ahead and fight him but i believe they can drop something really cool and of course you have a bunch of different Different slayer NPCs in these caves and every single slayer zone has a boss in the middle as well okay so to access this boss you must unlock it by using slayer points that's interesting so let's have a look here once again to slayer go to the unlocks and then as you can see yeah you can get the mech right here which will cost you a hundred slayer points also this is where you unlock the other zones so you have the enchanted forest and dragon ball z as well so the enchanted forest can be unlocked here with brutus which is the boss there and then dragon ball z with golden free which will be the boss there uh, bosses something will be added here most likely and then the shop will also have some additional prizes included in that as well now, of course you still have cosmetic overrides if you do want to grind out some fashion scape i don't have anything right now but you can go ahead and add some items in here that you would like to add for yourself now besides that of course account settings you can check out some things here the world events so as you can see some global bosses that will spawn at a certain time or once a certain milestone has happened you'll find all of them right here so the great ape was active unfortunately i believe the obliterator should still be added this will of course be added once the server is live but let's go ahead and see what will happen once we take the great ape as you can see he still isn't coded as well so we didn't even um, have to do a lot of damage but as you can see we've got some platinum tokens some azurite tokens and also global boss tokens right there now continuing at the home area you also have this chest right here which you will be able to open up with chest keys and as you can see you can get yourself some rewards unfortunately i didn't get any rares but of course i only had five keys we did get some azurite arrows though which i believe um oh wasn't the collection log but it was an achievement to open this chest at least one time now these achievements are actually more interesting or more important than i thought at first if you go to the achievements once again i mentioned that you can rank up by getting yourself the experience the higher the rank you get the more pieces of content that you will be able to unlock so trying to complete all of these achievements is actually really important for progressing your accounts so you have access to all the other um, zones in the game so I found out that actually for the Slayer, uh, you don't actually need to unlock on the beta server. So I can go to these areas, the Enchanted Forest, Brutus Boss and so on without unlocking them. So let's go to the Enchanted Forest real quick. Once again, a completely custom map. It's absolutely beautiful with a bunch of custom NPCs around, of course, that you can get as a Slayer task. Now, I have been running around here earlier for quite a long time to try to find the boss in the middle. I don't think there is one in this area specifically unless I'm absolutely missing it but of course we can go to brutus boss himself which is the boss that you also have to unlock with slayer points so i believe brutus boss will be linked to here 
So of course going to the Brutus boss you do need it unlocked but you can teleport to this zone however. If I want to try to challenge Brutus you will see that I'm not able to challenge him because I need to unlock it with Slayer points once again. As you can see right there access to this boss must be unlocked using Slayer points to uh, in the unlock tab of the Slayer dashboard. Now that doesn't mean that I can't go to the Dragon Ball Z dungeon to have a look around here as well. Now as you can see this one is more organized with the different rooms. It's not as uh, random as a forest of course. But you do have the different NPCs in here that you'll be able to get as a Slayer Dusk and of course a barrier to go to the Gold Frieza boss here. Once again you do have to unlock this using Slayer points. Now let's also check out some of the bosses, for example the Nebula Experion. If we go ahead and teleport to here we will get into this nice little arena. We can activate the boss fight by using this pod right here and then we can just click yes. So this will dip into an instance and we will now be able to fight the Nebula Experion. He will be able to do some damage but I'm in really good gear so I'm not really that afraid of taking any damage or not being able to kill the boss. Anyways this boss is actually a really interesting boss because this boss will work with enrage and kill streak to increase your drop rate so as you can see we have now slain it and we got an increased enrage of 26 percent now as you can see there are two options the activate uh, pod and the search so let's go ahead and check out um so yeah the enrage 26 percent let's go ahead and check out the search and as you can see we are now only three kill streak and 74 percent enrage and this is the loot that we already managed to get however if we do bank or take out this loot the enrage and kill streak will be reset to zero the higher the enrage and kill streak of course the more chance you'll get at getting a rare drop from this boss now let's move on to another boss once again in teleport menu we'll find diablo as well this will also be another area where we will be able to summon diablo from the demonic symbol and then we will be able to start the fight now diablo has some different combat mechanics as well that we will have to watch out for so he will shoot this ball which as you can see can actually do quite a lot of damage but he also has the special tag and this will spawn some uh, spots on the floor if you stand in those spots you will actually take repeatedly damage and you can die quite easily so definitely make sure to try to avoid that as you can see i just got hit a 31 right there but anyways we managed to finish off the kill and that was also another achievement complete Anyways, with all that being said, guys, this is where I will be ending off today's video, guys. There is, of course, a lot of content that still hasn't been added to the server, or at least not to the beta client, and that will be added once the server goes live. So I would highly recommend you guys to stay tuned in the Discord and hop on as soon as the server releases. It will be a massive release with a bunch of YouTubers making content and a bunch of players being online for the first time ever, so definitely make sure you don't miss out. Anyways, with all that being said, guys, this is where I will be ending off today's video, so I'll see you guys in my next videos. Take care and peace.